What you guys got a micro review here for you. This is the Sudotech, the professional USB condenser microphone for podcasting. Now this is a full kit, comes with everything you need to get up and running. It's probably one of the best uh, USB microphones you can get on the market. It's an ST800 version. And uh, as I said, we're gonna take a full look at what you get for your money here. Now this is everything you're gonna get in a kit. You're gonna get your user manual, and this is gonna give you all the specifications you need uh, to know about uh, for your microphone. Let me go through some of these for you, just in case you're interested. The microphone core is the 16 millimeter diameter uh, condenser microphone. The polar pattern is cardioid. The frequency response is 30 Hertz and 16 Hertz. The sensitivity is 33 decibels plus minus three decibels. And you can see there the Equivalent noise level is 16 uh, decibels max. Maximum SPL is 120 decibels and 70 decibels at 19 kilohertz, which is 24 bit. So it's a 24 bit microphone, and I think that's pretty good value for this sort of price point. I'll leave all the links in the video description. The microphone you're hearing right now, if you're interested, is this particular microphone. So all the audio you're hearing on this video is this microphone right here. We've also got like a, a wind noise to cut out wind noise. You can slide this over the actual microphone itself. And we've got a pop filter already in here. So when you do peas like Peter had a pickled pepper, and this should cut out all the peaks in the word peas. Uh, so when you're saying peas or S's, it cuts that out. Now also you're gonna get everything else in the kit like shock mount. This is a shock mount for uh, the microphone. So if you've got this mounted to the desk, it's got rubber inside here to take out any sort of knocks or shocks uh, to the microphone. As you can see here, it's also very well built. It's a pretty good quality uh, shock mount here. And uh, they also got the bracket here and the arm that the microphone will sit on as well. So there is your bracket that will go onto your desk. And of course, this has got rubber on here as well to stop and cut down vibration. Again, try not to bang the desk um, you know, otherwise you will get that generating through the actual microphone itself. So that's important. Another thing here is the USB cable here. And this is for your uh, microphone. You can see it's got some sort of magnetic thing on the cable to cut down uh, the interference through the USB cable. And we have our arm that goes onto the mount here. So we're going to put this onto the table. You've also got everything you need here to get up and running. And we have the microphone itself, which is pretty well uh, built. It's pretty good quality. And there it is right there. So it just looks like your well-known brands that you can see on the internet. And of course, you want to speak into the side which has the writing on it. That is the microphone part there. If you start speaking around the other side, it's not going to sound that good at all because you're on the wrong side of the microphone. Uh, so just remember to speak into the part which has the uh, writing on it and you should be good to go there. So this is what it looks like with the windscreen on here. So you just slide that over the microphone and that should cut down on any sort of uh, background noise or wind noise in the vicinity of your room. So if you've got a computer running or stuff like that, it should filter that out. And I've also put on the shock mount here and this is what it looks like. You just use the little clips and uh, squeeze those and it will open up the entrance so you can slide the microphone on and you're pretty much good to go from there and you just need to plug in your cable. Now I've already got the arm here so just make sure you get that uh, logo around the right way so when you're speaking and this is what it will look like. Now I've used a different arm here because I've already got one installed on my desk but I've got the pop filter on here and I've removed the windscreen but if you want to put the windscreen on you can uh, but I'm just using the pop filter on here uh, so you can see and hear what it sounds like. And personally, I think it's very good indeed. It's a very good microphone uh, for around about 50 pounds, I think it is this microphone. And I get a lot of echoing and background noise in this room because I'm in a sort of an alcove. So you might be able to hear a bit of that in the background, but the quality of the audio is very, very clear. So it's not the microphone, it's my actual studio here. It needs to have some uh, soundproofing. But other than that, if you want it for YouTube, podcasting, or anything like that singing, this is microphone is good enough for you. Anyway, I'll leave the links in the video description. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, 
hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.